Hello, my loves. It's been a few days. Um, let's see what's been going on. I'm going to a wedding tomorrow. Uh, time change, seasonal depression is uh, out and about running rampant with a lot of people. I haven't been feeling it so much. I've been feeling overwhelmed in my things that I'm trying to take care of. So I'm doing my best to write everything down and um, just work on my list one thing at a time. I know there are things I want to talk about with my therapist to help sort my thoughts out. We feel a little bit more like put together and like clear headed after I talk to her. I mean, it's not that I don't feel clear headed about most things. It's just, you know, when you I, I feel like I try to be a problem solver, Even you know, obviously I'm try to be solution based. Um, and I don't like to act out irrationally or um, recklessly or too impulsively. And so running a few things by her usually helps me remain level headed and it helps me like focus better. So there's that. Um, okay. So last time I spoke to you, I was supposed to be getting my tattoo done. I everything was set. The day of craziest craziest situation. But um, I did not get my tattoo done. I actually am rescheduled to get it done this month. But. Um, it's crazy because mental health has been such a crazy thing that's been going on for so long and I feel like I know I talk about it a lot especially in my own stories in my own life in my own situations but it really isn't something that's exclusive to me because the reason why I wasn't able to get my tattoo done is because the tattoo artist that I was going to get it done with has her own battles that she is dealing with and so much so that she literally you don't plan to be at your limit when you hit your limit like you never see it coming when you're about when your cup starts overflowing and it's it comes out of nowhere and then it could be anything something big or small that kind of tips you over the edge and then you realize it's like too late and you already tipped over so she had something happen to her or something came up where it was kind of like a, almost a medical emergency type level. And um, so she really did need a break. So I can definitely respect that. And to be honest, if she's not feeling great, and maybe because she is a tattoo artist, and I'm already anxious or nervous enough, and a tattoo is like permanent, like with the intention of being permanent, um, I would rather you being mentally your best when you come in. Because if you're struggling, then your quality of work could be different. That could be the thing that tips you over. Or you just need to be at your best so you can give your best. So I guess that's really interesting for me. At first, I didn't. I was angry and upset at the fact that the appointment went through. But after following up in several conversations, you know, deposit back and everything, um... <laughs> Like, that's what I learned. I, I learned that that was what happened. Sorry, don't mind my son in the background. I was going to, I'm trying to make this fast too. I have a wedding to go to tomorrow. Um, I mentioned it before. Um, I did get my faux locks in. I'm loving them. They kind of give me a, I love the vibe. But the wedding tomorrow, um, I never mentioned it before, but my outfit is actually Rihanna inspired because Rihanna is my inspiration for so many things in life businesswoman, uh, business ethic, life philosophies. It's just gorgeous. And um, style icon. Just like on my list of style gurus and icons. So she was my inspiration. So I have something inspired like by Rihanna. So I am going to post those online. And the next week I will be out and about doing some real estate work. Hmm. Not just that, but like my business and my work that keeps me in my car traveling a lot. It's still consistently busy. I thought I'd have more of a break next week, but it turns out I'm not. I'm not. I thought like today I'd be able to kind of put my hands down and give myself at least like a week in between having to stress about anything or any deadlines being met. Um, But, you know... If you want it done early, I mean, I'm not mad at that either. I mean, I, I want all the dollars I can get. 
Um, I took my son to um, Christmas Town at Bush Gardens today. He loved it. All the Christmas lights, which was wonderful, darling. Um, he loved it, which made me feel good because we were just going to stay in and chill. But um, and I worked today and I got home. I cooked dinner. We chilled and he had a lot of energy and at first i was like maybe we should go to the park because it was early it was a little warmer earlier but then ultimately today was the first day that christmas town was open at bush gardens and he hasn't been for at least the, not last year the year before that and you know he's only four now so that was when he was two and i didn't want him to miss it so we went there and walked around so he did enjoy that he loves christmas he that is my son because christmas is one of my favorite holidays thanksgiving is my favorite meal of the year so i love it and literally after thanksgiving dinner like i jump in i am ready i want to be yes i'm I'm ready for mariah carey i, I just love christmas it's not just about presents because i'm as an adult, I don't expect the same energy as when you were a child, but there's something about the atmosphere and the love and the joy and the lights and the magic of Christmas that I really love. Um, I love that feeling. And I love Christmas music. I can listen to the same 12 songs on repeat, sung in a million different ways and, and not be bothered. Um, what else? Chicka, chicka, chicka. Mm, I don't know. I'm feeling cute too. My skin's looking great. Oh yes. Okay, because we talk and I share. And you guys know I had a chemical peel done last month. And guess what? I made an appointment for another chemical peel. We do it on Monday, Monday afternoon. So there will be another 10 day period where my skin, I mean, it's gonna get better. I mean, I have makeup on now. But it will be peeling and more acne scarring will be disappearing. Like long term acne scarring. Stuff I've had for like 15 years plus will be disappearing. And I'm curious and interested to know what that will look like. Um, I think I'm doing a lot. At least lately I feel like I'm doing a lot better mentally. I feel happy. I feel light. And even though it's dark outside and I have to combat like the tired feeling. I'm exhausted now or the feelings of down um, I am making progress within myself and with my goals so that makes me feel really good um, sorry I'm still doing stuff on TikTok too so I'm a mess I'm all over the place I'm still working on real estate um, dang where was I going my train of thought I really don't remember now I lost it. My son distracted me with his movements behind me. King size bed and he's still on top of me. Oh, I was talking about my chemical peel. So I'm getting that done. And I wanted it done before the Thanksgiving holiday anyway. Because I don't want to be at the dinner table with like dry peeling skin. But I also can't do it this weekend because I'm going to a wedding. So Monday will give me... 10 days to get right before then so I'm really excited to look uh what I'm gonna look like um because I've never I don't remember outside of wearing makeup I really don't have a lot of like memories that I can recall of what my skin looks like without all this damage and discoloration on it and so for me I'm really excited to see like this journey and where I'll be by the time I'm done because I'll probably do I definitely want more next month but you're supposed to do three to four treatments so we'll see how things go this month and next month to determine if there will be one in January. And then it'll be quarterly appointments at that point. And um, keep in mind, I have to save my pennies for these appointments. Um, they're not like covered under health, regular health insurance. Anyway, I'm about to go... Um, I think that's it. I'm tired, but I know I haven't checked in a few days, and that's my son, and I really do want to wrap this up before he gets too rowdy, because he needs to be settling down, because I'm tired, I'm about to wash my face, which means I'm ready to turn off the lights and lay in the bed, and let the sleep take me over, just go on into the in-between. Anywho. Um, I love you all. I'm still feeling really good. I'm still feeling really happy. I'm still maintaining and staying strong. Um, 
Oh, I started a new audiobook too. I'm doing really great. I'm I'm looking at a lot of things. Um, that doesn't mean all my problems disappear or anything like that, but I am a, in a place where, at least currently, where I'm, although overwhelmed with the amount of things I'm trying to take care of, I do feel good mentally. Um, and I feel happy, I think, sometimes. I don't know what that means. Like, in a way that's like a light from inside that shines and shines out in a kind of way. Like, it radiates from inside. So, that's where I am. And, um... Try not to let seasonal depression get to you if it's something you battle because it is very strange this quick adjustment that we have not even the quick adjustment the time change has been so sudden that those of us who may have forgotten or forgotten what the feeling is because it's been like months since then have to like reintroduce ourselves to how to stay healthy happy and strong and stable during this time and um, I never really had to deal with it too much except for maybe earlier this year I started feeling it but um it exists in the world and um and it's nothing about depression is good whatever season it may be so feel better try to keep yourself busy listen to audiobooks keep your mind busy wake up inhale exhale meditate um, do your affirmations, speak good things over yourself, and work on your goals. Just keep going, guys. I'm going to keep going, and I am going to check in soon. I have stuff going on, but I really can't think of everything for some reason. I feel like there was something more, like more specific I meant to share. Mm. If anybody knows how to, sh to edit TikTok videos, can you let me know? And also for the sake of potential podcasts in the future, um, anyone who watches this, if you have any idea how that works, how to get started, what to do, is it free? Let me know. All right, dears. My skin looks really good in this light and it, we'll be in touch. It'll probably be after like chemical peel day though, or on chemical peel day. So we can jumpstart another 10 day process and go through that journey together. I'm going to try eyelashes tomorrow too. I don't really wear eyelashes, but, um, it is a wedding. So we will do that. I normally don't like to exaggerate too much. I don't need a whole fan on my eyelid. My eyes are already kind of small. And if the eyelashes are too long, they like touch the lids. They fold all the way up and back and are like touching my lids. And I feel like that's not supposed to happen. So I don't do that or don't like it. So I don't wear them. Um, good night, my loves. We'll talk soon. And there he is. I don't know what he's doing, but it's time to go to sleep. Good night, dears.